What's up guys, it's Sam aka Major Chaos. I just got back from my uh, pre-release for set 9 at my local card shop, the, the Vault, Comics and Games, in Greensburg. And uh, I had a lot of fun. Ended up placing second uh, in my locals. Uh, lost to my very good friend who sort of deserved the mat more than I did, so he beat me. It came down to he hit a critical trigger and I had a heal. If he didn't hit a critical trigger, I would have survived because I had a heal and I had enough shield in hand to guard his other attack. But I had a chance hit and he hit a crit. So, I'm going to show you guys my uh, the deck I drafted at pre release and uh, then I'll show you some things I picked up and whatnot. So I'm posting, guys. Uh, let, without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, uh, I play uh, Deity Ceiling Kid Soko as my starter. He's essentially you pull him back, and he's 6k booster for Vanguard only. I originally thought he was a crap pull, but he had his uses. Very very useful. So he's a 6k booster. That's uh, our starter. Do your pre list. Obviously, we have a lot of uh, grade zeros in the deck. First, we have Trihole, Draco Kid. He probably put in the most work for me all day long, all night long as far as the pre-release. He was the difference between me winning and losing a couple games. Just because the 8k third attack, and if you have like a 7k booster behind him, it's he's pretty solid. Probably one of my favorite cards of the draft. Did the most work. Then I have the Grade 3 Searcher for Murakumo. And another one of Soko, just for shield, because, I mean, you don't have a choice of what you get, is what you get sometimes. And I only had five triggers. I had one of the, one stand trigger. I was fortunate enough to get my hands on uh, two heals. Um, and then I had... Two crit. So, the heals, like I said, the last game could have won, assuming my friend didn't hit a crit, but I was kind of glad at the same time. Then we have a personal booster for Maelstrom, Dex Draper, Grade Ones. I was sort of fortunate with my Grade Ones and Grade Twos. Got a decent number of both, so I never got Grey Sack any of the games. And we had the personal booster for Wreck Wheel. And for Cookie, we have Cream. We have Fire Juggler. Didn't get her skill off, but 7k bodies are good in this deck. Um, Storm Rider guy, Grid 1, never really drew into him that much, so he's alright. We have Burst Razor, which is pretty good. Then we have my favorite Grid 1 of the day. Oh. 2, Magetsu Breath, Stealth Dragon. Always, every single game, I had at least one copy of him on boosting one of my Rhaegar columns, and it, caught, and it was the difference between me winning and losing half the games. Um, but I'll get into my matchups. I guess now, since now with those are the great ones, my first round I won due to deck out. I, he put me at my 6 damage, but prior to that, he drive checked his last cards, so therefore he lost. So I won. Second game, I, uh, I ended up getting the self damager off, and I hit a heal trigger that turned I self damage. So I went from 4 down to 2. Yeah, two damage, which was pretty nice, and gave me more momentum. And I was able to put one of my clutch gray threes back, which you'll see here. Um, so we have Golden Anglet. We have Self Damager from Murakumo. We have uh, Melodica Cat, which is pretty cool for a great nature. I don't see why they couldn't have made Tachikaze units. 9K, 7K, and 10K, but what's whatever. Put in some work most of the games he was out. He came out most of the while. Uh, then we then I had uh, a few of the superior call units, which normally I would say wouldn't be very good for uh, drop setting, but worked out rather well for me. Got his effect off probably once out of two times I used him. Got his effect off once. Got and barcode's effect off once. So and then I had one heroic penny and one. Parabellum Moose, who everyone, as soon as I, I called it or re wrote it, they were like, what the hell is that? It's a freaking moose. Moose that puts in work. 
probably have to say my favorite grade too was Golden Anglet or Musica music Cat or the Self Damage from Murakumo put in the most work for me. But those are my grade twos. I had eight grade twos. Um, I had probably at least eight grade zeros. Um, and I had five grade threes, which I'll go through now. I pull. I drafted two Stealth Beast Gigantoad, so which is pretty good. I never got the Rear Guard and Vanguard effect off. Then I had two Hollow Nomad. He came in play exactly when I needed it, and when I hit triggers, it's 24, 19k. It's pretty nice, but uh, pretty good. And then my best pull of my draft, and the card that helped me win a lot of my games, as far as Rear Guard power and Vanguard Pressure is Blue Storm Supreme Dragon Glory Maelstrom. Like a boss. His ultimate break, which I. Game 3, which I played against a close friend, um, which it came down to him hitting trigger and didn't. And constant pressure with this, not being able to drop one or greater from hand, cost him because he ran out of hand. Plus 20. It was 22 with the. Uh, with the uh, Koho behind him, which was good. Um, gotta say, he is kind of good. I don't know how good he'll make Aqua Force, but he's pretty darn good. Um, so yeah, that's uh, my draft experience. Then game four, like I said, came down to the last trigger check because I had a feeling I'd hit a heal, and I was right. My Psyquali was strong in me, but the Psyquali was stronger than my opponent because he ripped a crit right in my face at the end of the game to win it. And kudos to him because he pulled crap as far as his booster draft. And one of our friends that was sitting to, I think, the left of him kept passing him draw triggers, which you should already know are horrible in draft formats. But uh, some other cards I picked up, which I was pretty happy about, um, I was able to trade for an Illuminal Dragon, which is not for trade, for my uh, Beast Data deck. And I pull, pulled, my friend pulled a Wyvern Guard Gold. And I have to say that this... This Glory Maelstrom probably is for sale or trade, although with the way it's having, I probably will already have already sold it if you don't comment below. But if you're interested in comment below, I don't ship outside of U.S. For the most part, I sell my most of my things on North American Cardfight Vanguard. I will trade this, but I'm probably only looking for Super Base Deities. And, uh, so uh, sorry for not posting lately, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and have a great day.